This is Tumalo Creek Kayak and Canoe Marketing Director Crystal Marie Collins talking with Pull Pedal Paddle Race Course Instructor Hank Hill, hoping to learn more about Pull Pedal Paddle Clinics Tumalo Creek offers. Hank, how long have you been instructing water sports for Tumalo Creek? Uh, about nine years now. Nine years? Yeah. How long have you been doing the Pull Pedal Paddle Clinics? I think we've been offering them for probably about seven of those years. So it's, it's been, a, been, been a fun event to do for the people. Yeah, right on. And do you watch the pull pedal paddle, the um, paddling leg of the race? Uh, I do from the water. I'm, I'm working it most years out there safety boating. So it's fun to see friends and people that have taken the class paddle past me. And I like to cheer them on and hope they do good. Right on. Safety boating. So you're, you're there to, to make sure uh, no one yeah, tips just in or case, flips. Or... Just in case there's someone that capsizes or um, you know someone gets in trouble. Which happens every so often. Doesn't happen all the time, but we're out there to support the racers and come come to their aid if need be. Nice. So, what are some of the common mistakes you've seen racers make in the past? The biggest one and probably the most entertaining to watch is the put in. <laughs> <laughs> people people are re they're really rushed to get down there on the water, and they they don't get in their boat quite properly, and they they try to paddle off too quickly, and a lot of the cap sizes happen right there to put in right on so that's that's one big one the other and the other one is just the approach to the buoys so that's something we go over in the class uh, the buoy turns can be a little tricky especially if there's a lot of people there at once um, so people just don't quite approach the buoys at the right angles Right, it is a there and back, right? You paddle, right. paddle all the way there, go around yep. the buoy, come back. Two left turns, so there's an upstream and a downstream buoy. So, um, you know, we just uh, like to go over how to properly approach those buoys and, and just make your efficient or your turn as efficient as possible. Right, very, very good. Um, so what other tips and tricks can participants hope to gain by taking the Tumalo Creek? Well, some of them are secret. We don't want to spill the beans, uh, tell everyone our, our secrets. But no, we, uh, we start with just um, going over boat dynamics and how to be properly fit and positioned in your boat. Because that's critical uh, for not only a comfortable paddle, but a safe paddle and an efficient paddle. So we go over um, how your boat is going to behave on the water. Um, what to look for with, with your length and, and hull design and, and um, that kind of thing. And then we go over how to read the water. Um, you know, it's a pretty benign race course out there, but there are some tricky spots uh, where the current um, gets a little swifter um, and some obstacles that you're going to want to avoid. So uh, we go over just how to read the water, where to be, um, you know, what your most efficient line is up and down, up and down the course. Awesome. Do you have any weather predictions for this year's? Uh, <laughs> you know, pedal it's pedal? Uh, that is the most difficult weekend to predict the weather for. Um, sometimes it's seventy-five and and sunny. Other times it's been like fifty and rainy. So I bet there'll be a few clouds and maybe a slight breeze. But we we hope it'll be warm and sunny. It'd sure be a shame to be a new paddler on the course, never seen it, uh, never, never, never paddled it before, and then get bad weather. Yeah, yeah. So maybe having a clinic going into it would really help participants. Be Absolutely, prepared. yeah. It'll put them at ease a little bit because like, we've had we've had some pretty cold, rainy race days, and um, especially that that water portion. Um, it's towards the end of the race; people are getting tired, and uh, sometimes you know things come up just from fatigue and not being warm enough, so uh, that's definitely something to consider for sure. Well, thanks for taking the time to chat with, uh, chat with me today and, um, and tell us uh, what the clinic has to offer. Absolutely. Thank you. Thanks, Hank. <laughs>